Aconitum, Wikipedia article audio. Four species see below. Aconitum, commonly known as aconite, monk's hood, wolf spain, leopard spain, mouse spain, women's bane, devil's helmet, queen of poisons, or blue rocket, is a genus of over 250 species of flowering plants belonging to the family Ranunculaceae. These herbaceous perennial plants are chiefly native to the mountainous parts of the northern hemisphere, growing in the moisture-retentive but well-draining soils of mountain meadows. Most species are extremely poisonous and must be dealt with carefully. Etymology Description The name Aconitum comes from the Greek Kapanu Iota Tau Omicron Nu, which may derive from the Greek akon for dart or javelin, the tips of which were poisoned with the substance, or from akoni, because of the rocky ground on which the plant was thought to grow. The Greek name Lycotonum, which translates literally to wolf Spain, is thought to indicate the use of its juice to poison arrows or baits used to kill wolves. The dark green leaves of Aconitum species lack stipules. They are palmate or deeply palmately lobed with five to seven segments. Each segment again is trilobed with coarse sharp teeth. The leaves have a spiral arrangement. The lower leaves have long petioles. The tall, erect stem is crowned by racemes of large blue, purple, white, yellow, or pink zygomorphic flowers with numerous stamens. They are distinguishable by having one of the five petaloid sepals, called the galea, in the form of a cylindrical helmet, hence the English name monk's hood. Two to ten petals are present. The two upper petals are large and are placed under the hood of the calyx and are supported on long stalks. They have a hollow spur at their apex, containing the nectar. The other petals are small and scale-like or non-forming. The three to five carpels are partially fused at the base. The fruit is an aggregate of follicles, a follicle being a dry, many-seeded structure. Aconitum species have been recorded as food plant of the caterpillars of several moths. The yellow tiger moth Arctia flavia, and the purple-shaded gem Eushalsha variabilis are at home on Avolparia. The engrailed Ectropes crepuscularia, yellowtail Euproctus similis, mouse moth Amphipira tragopogenis, peas blossom Periphans delphinii, and neotype bathensis, have been observed feeding on A. napolis. The purple line Salopiria x primans, and Blepharida amica were found eating from A. septentrionale. The dot moth melon chra persicari occurs both on A. septentrionale and A. intermedium. The golden plusia polychrysiaminata is hosted by A. vulparia, A. napolis. A. septentrionale, and A. intermedium. Other moths associated with Aconitum species include the wormwood pug Eupathetia absentheata, satyr pug E. satirata, Aterpia charpentirina, and A. corticana. It is also the primary food source for the Old World bumblebee Bombus consabrinus. Ecology the roots of A. ferox supply the Nepalese poison called beak, bish, or nabi. It contains large quantities of the alkaloid sudaconitine, which is a deadly poison. The root of A. luridum, of the Himalaya, is said to be as poisonous as that of A. ferox or A. napolis. Several species of aconitum have been used as arrow poisons. The Minero in Ladakh use A. napolis on their arrows to hunt ibex, while the Ainu in Japan used a species of aconitum to hunt bear. The Chinese also used aconitum poisons both for hunting and for warfare. Aconitum poisons were used by the Aleuts of Alaska's Aleutian Islands for hunting whales. Usually, 
one man in a kayak armed with a poison-tipped lance would hunt the whale, paralyzing it with the poison and causing it to drown. Uses The more common species of aconitum are generally those cultivated in gardens, especially hybrids. They typically thrive in well-drained evenly moist garden soils like the related hellebores and delphiniums, and can grow in the shade of trees. They can be propagated by divisions of the root or by seeds, care should be taken not to leave pieces of the root where livestock might be poisoned. All parts of the plant should be handled while wearing protective disposable gloves. Unlike Helleborus and Delphinium, there are no double-flowered hybrid forms. Aconitum plants are typically much longer-lived than the closely related Delphinium plants, putting less energy into floral reproduction. As with Helleborus some others in the family, they do not like to be moved once established and seeds that are not planted soon after harvesting should be stored moist packed in vermiculite to avoid dormancy and viability issues. In the UK, the following have gained the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit. A medium to dark semi-saturated blue-purple is the typical flower color for Aconetum species. Aconetum species tend to be variable enough in form and color in the wild to cause debate and confusion among experts when it comes to species classification boundaries. The overall color range of the genus is rather limited, although the palette has been extended a small amount with hybridization. In the wild, some aconetum blue-purple shades can be very dark. In cultivation the shades do not reach this level of depth. Cultivation Aside from blue-purple-white, very pale greenish-white, creamy white and pale greenish-yellow are also somewhat common in nature. Wine red occurs in several uncommon or rare Asian species, including a climbing variety. There is a pale semi-saturated pink produced by cultivation as well as by color hybrids. Purplish shades range from very dark blue-purple to a very pale lavender that is quite grayish. The latter occurs in the stainless steel hybrid. Cultivars Neutral blue, greenish blue and intense blues available in some related delphinium plants particularly delphinium grandiflorum do not occur in this genus. Aconetum plants that have purplish blue flowers are often inaccurately referred to as having blue flowers, even though the purple tone dominates. If there are species with true blue or greenish blue flowers they are rare and do not occur in cultivation. Also unlike the delphinium genus, there are no true or bright red or intense pink aconetum plants, as none known evolved to be pollinated by hummingbirds. There are no orange-flowered varieties nor are any green-flowered. Aconetum is typically more intense in color than Helleborus but less intense than Delphinium. There are no black-like flowers in Aconetum, unlike Helleborus. Color Range Marked symptoms may appear almost immediately, usually not later than one hour, and with large doses death is almost instantaneous. Death usually occurs within two to six hours in fatal poisoning. The initial signs are gastrointestinal, including nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. This is followed by a sensation of burning, tingling and numbness in the mouth and face, and of burning in the abdomen. In severe poisonings, pronounced motor weakness occurs and cutaneous sensations of tingling and numbness spread to the limbs. Cardiovascular features include hypotension, sinus bradycardia, and ventricular arrhythmias. Other features may include sweating, dizziness, difficulty in breathing, headache, and confusion. The main causes of death are ventricular arrhythmias and asystole, or paralysis of the heart or respiratory center. 
The only post-mortem signs are those of asphyxia. Treatment of poisoning is mainly supportive. All patients require close monitoring of blood pressure and cardiac rhythm. Gastrointestinal decontamination with activated charcoal can be used if given within one hour of ingestion. The major physiological antidote is atropine, which is used to treat bradycardia. Other drugs used for ventricular arrhythmia include lidocaine, amiodarone, bretillium, flecainide, procainamide, and mexiletine. Cardiopulmonary bypass is used if symptoms are refractory to treatment with these drugs. Successful use of charcoal hemoperfusion has been claimed in patients with severe aconitine poisoning. Toxicology Severe toxicity is not expected from skin contact, however paresthesia has been reported, as has mild toxicity. Aconitine is a potent neurotoxin that opens tetrodotoxin-sensitive sodium channels. It increases influx of sodium through these channels and delays repolarization, thus increasing excitability and promoting ventricular dysrhythmias. Aconite has long been used in traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurveda. Aconite was also described in Greek and Roman medicine by Theophrastus, Dioscorides, and Pliny the Elder, who most likely prescribed the alpine species Aconitum lycoctonum. A rare tradition of the folk medicinal use of Aconitum species is still kept alive in some parts of Slovenia. Aconitum casmanthum is listed as critically endangered, Aconitum heterophyllum as endangered, and Aconitum violaceum as vulnerable due to overcollection for Ayurvedic use. Genetic analysis suggests that Aconitum as it was delineated before the 21st century is nested within Delphinium sensolato, that also includes Aconitella, Consolida, Delphinium staphysagria, D. requini, and D. pictum. Further genetic analysis has shown that the only species of the subgenus Aconitum, A. gymnandrum, is sister to the group that consists of Delphinium, Delphinium, and Consolida plus Aconitella. To make Aconitum monophyletic, A. gymnandrum has now been reassigned to a new genus, Gymnaconitum. To make Delphinium monophyletic, the new genus Staphysagria was erected containing S. Staphysagria, S. requini, and S. pictum. Medicinal use Aconite has been understood as a poison from ancient times, and is frequently represented as such in fiction. In Greek mythology, the goddess Hecate is said to have invented aconite, which Athena used to transform Arachne into a spider. Also, Medea attempted to poison Theseus with a cup of wine poisoned with wolf's bane. The Kaijin play Busu, which is well known and frequently taught in Japan, is centered on dried aconite root used for traditional Chinese medicine. Taken from Shaskashu, a 13th century anthology collected by Maje, the story describes servants who decide that the dried aconite root is really sugar and suffer unpleasant though non-lethal symptoms after eating it. Shakespeare, in Henry IV Part II Act IV Scene IV refers to aconite, alongside rash gunpowder, working as strongly as the venom of suggestion to break up close relationships. Taxonomy As a well-known poison from ancient times, aconite is well suited for historical fiction. It is the poison used by a murderer in the third of the Cad Fael Chronicles, Monk's Hood by Ellis Peters, published in 1980 and set in 1138 in Shrewsbury. In I, Claudius, Livia, wife of Augustus, was portrayed discussing the merits, antidotes, and use of aconite with a poisoner. It also makes a showing in alternate history novels and historical fantasy, such as S. M. Sterling's, 
on the oceans of eternity, where a renegade warlord is poisoned with aconite-laced food by his own chief of internal security, and in the television show Merlin, the lead character, Merlin, attempts to poison Arthur with aconite while under a spell. In the 2003 Korean television series Day Jang Jiam, set in the 15th and 16th centuries, Choi put Wolf Spain in the previous Queen's Food. A. Times Camarum Bicolor, Bressingham Spire, Sparks Variety, Stainless Steel. Aconite also lends itself to use as a fictional poison in modern settings. An overdose of aconite was the method in which Rudolf Bloom, father of Leopold Bloom and James Joyce S. Ulysses, committed suicide. In the television series Midsomer Murders, Season 4, Episode 1, aconite is used as a murder weapon, mixed into fettuccine with pesto to mask the taste. In the Australian detective series Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries, Series 1, Episode 5, the ground root of wolf Spain is used as a murder weapon. In Rizzoli and Isles Season 1, Episode 3 Sympathy for the Devil, Mora Isles discovered a teenaged boy named Matisse killed by monkshood mixed into a water bottle. In the 2014 season of NCIS LA, assistant director, Owen Granger, and members of his staff are poisoned with monkshood by a mole within the agency. In the TV series Dexter, the character Hannah McKay uses aconite to poison some of her victims. In the 2014 pilot episode of Forever, Monkshood is user to murder a train conductor leading to a subway train collision. In his mythological poem Metamorphoses, Ovid tells how the herb comes from the slavering mouth of Cerberus, the three-headed dog that guarded the gates of Hades. As the veterinary historian John Blaisdell has noted, symptoms of aconite poisoning in humans bear some passing similarity to those of rabies frothy saliva, impaired vision, vertigo, and finally a coma. Thus, some ancient Greeks possibly would have believed that this poison, mythically born of Cerberus's lips, was literally the same as that to be found inside the mouth of a rabid dog. In the 1931 classic horror film Dracula starring Bela Lugosi as Count Dracula and Helen Chandler as Mina Seward, Reference is made to Wolf Spain. Towards the end of the film, Van Helsing holds up a sprig of Wolf Spain. Van Helsing educates the nurse protecting Mina from Count Dracula to place sprigs of Wolf Spain around Mina's neck for protection. Furthermore, he instructs that Wolf Spain is a plant that grows in Central Europe. There, the natives use it to protect themselves against vampires. As long as the wolf Spain is present in Mina's bedroom, she will be safe from Count Dracula. During the night, Count Dracula desires to visit Mina. He appears outside her window in the form of a flying bat. He causes the nurse to become drowsy, and when she awakes from his spell, she removes the sprigs of wolf Spain, placing it in a hallway chest of drawers. With the removal of the wolf Spain from Mina's room, Count Dracula mysteriously appears and transports Mina to the dungeon of the castle. Species Natural Hybrids In Media As a Poison in the 1941 film The Wolf Man starring Lon Chaney Jr. and Claude Rains, the following poem is recited several times even a man who is pure in heart and says his prayers by night, may become a wolf when the wolf bane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. In the 1943 French novel Our Lady of the Flowers, the boy Kula Froe eats Naples aconite, so that the Renaissance would take possession of the child through the mouth. 
Wolfsbane is used as an analogy for the power of divine communion in Liber 65 1 1316, one of Alistair Crowley's holy books of Thelema. Wolfsbane is mentioned in one verse of Lady Gwen Thompson's 1974 poem Read of the Wiccai, a long version of the Wiccan read, Wittershins go when moon doth wane, and the werewolves howl by the dread Wolfsbane. Aconitum Naples, Trailing White Monk's Hood, Southern Blue Monk's Hood, Wild Alaskan Monk's Hood is a flowering species that belongs to the family Ranunculaceae. The picture was taken in Kenai National Wildlife Refuge in Alaska. Wolf Spain, In Mysticism, Gallery.